Hello YouTubers, Alan Lindsley here and another video of beautiful scenery here in Nago, Okinawa, Japan. If you do like the video, please like and subscribe. And also I'll be putting links down below to different items that you can use in your world travels or your long vacation or your vacation. So here we go. Lovely scenery. I'm going to hike up to the top over there just so you can get an idea. Beautiful day today. Nature. You got the, the trees, vehicles, town. And I just wanted to share this with you. You got the library behind. There's the, the library. Been in there reading a book for a little while and decided to come out and share this day with you. So again, here we go. We're going to head to the top up there and then I'm going to share the scenery of Nago with you. So let, let me let me exit here and I'll get back with you shortly. Here it is. I'm at the base. I'm about ready to go up and get the view. It's going to be a beautiful view, so I'll get with you shortly on that. I'm about halfway up. I haven't made it to the top yet, but just wanted to share this with you. Do a quick 360. See the surrounding countryside and the beautifulness of Nago. So let me make it to the top and I'll get back with you there. Okay, here it is. Made it to the top. About to do a 360 so you can get a good look at the beautiful view. Beautiful day. If you'll notice, the buildings are built of heavier construction. You see all the, the roofs are, you know, of heavy material. It's a lot of it's stone. The reason for that is the typhoons that come through here. You see a lot of a lot of buildings in other areas, other countries that they don't use such good building material, they get blown away. But the Japanese know that they get multiple hurricanes, typhoons, bad weather a year, so they they just know to use good building material. They do not use cheap building material, as you can see. It's heavy construction. Like for example, the library down there, it's all heavy that like that roof is not gonna blow away. I mean unless it's tremendous, you know, winds that's just going to flatten everything. And even then, the damage is going to be minimal compared to, like, say, American houses or the Philippines or Thailand, stuff like that. And they've just adapted very well. Like, you can see everything, everything outside is sturdy. Nothing's really going to blow away. Like, all their fence posts down there, that's heavy constructed material. It's not a wooden fence stuck up with with posts and that's just going to blow over that you, anytime you see in america you see all the fences blow over but as you can see all the fences here if you notice they're heavy construction because they know they're not they don't want to spend their time repairing fences and repairing roofs so they've gotten ahead of that and i really think you know the world needs to take note of that and apply it in their own practices because you know all the all the time and money and energy spent on the damage from the bad weather, the foul weather, is just tremendous and it can just be minimized if you get a good foundation like the Japanese people have here. So I wanted to share this view with you and that story, so hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day.